If you're at a restaurant, can you calculate a 15% tip on a bill for $30 and do it in your head? Keep watching to find out how. So what we're going to do now is start with the easiest thing to do, and that's to calculate 10% tip. So don't forget what a percentage is. Basically, when you're applying a percentage and multiplying it by something, what you're really doing is multiplying the number by 0.1. And we forget that a lot of times because there's a percent button on the calculator, but you're really multiplying by 0.1. So if you have a bill, let's say you're in a restaurant and your bill is uh, $17. And you want to calculate 10% of that. So you want to do a 10% tip. You want to you want to end up putting down there as the tip. Then all you do for 10%, it's the easiest percentage to calculate. You, you know that 17 is here and there's a decimal point right behind the 7 because there's a, it's, there's no more digits there, so there's a decimal point. To multiply by 10%, you just move the decimal one spot to the left. So the tip in this case would just simply be 1.70. And you have to add a zero there because we want to do uh, dollars and cents. So it's $1.70. All we did was take the implied decimal point and move it one spot to the left. That's all you do when you multiply by 10%. If your bill at the table uh, there for lunch is $26, let's say, then if you were going to do a 10% bill of that, you're doing this all in your head. You're not actually doing any multiplication. You know that all you need to do is move that decimal one spot to the left. And so that's $2.60. So that's the tip that you would add. So if you're at a restaurant on a day when the service is kind of poor, maybe it's middle of the road, uh, but not exceptional, then this is the easiest way to calculate the tip. Now, what if you have a bill that's like $39.60? So it's not an exact even number of dollars and cents. If I were going to do a 10% tip on that, it works exactly the same way. The decimal point is here. I just move it one spot to the left. So I put a dollar sign. That's going to be $3.96. I moved it here, so it's three ninety six. The trailing zero just disappears because when we're talking about money, you don't need to put a bunch of zeros at the end. So you would add $3.96 to your tip. And finally, let's say that uh, your bill is, uh, just one more example, $44.95. I'm going to let you, you do this in your head. Uh, go ahead and take a few seconds. Your time starts now. Now this one's a little interesting. And the reason is because if you just take this decimal and move it to the left, you're going to get uh, 4 dollars and four nine five and this is a weird looking number when you're talking about money because we always have two digits after the decimal we don't want three or four digits so um, basically you round up here so if I were gonna put this on a check I would just round it up to four dollars and fifty cents let's say you're in a restaurant they're doing a really fantastic job taking care of you you want to show them that you appreciate it you want to give them a 20 percent tip how do you do that well it's very easy all you do is you take the 10% tip, so you calculate 10%, which we already know how to do now, and then you double it. So we know how to calculate 10%, it's very easy to do, and then you just mentally double it, which is like multiplying by two, and if the numbers are easy to double, then you just do that, and if they're harder, like if there's a lot of sense in there, then you just kind of estimate a little bit, but you end up, you end up trying to get as close to doubling it as you can. So let's take an example. Let's say the bill is uh, let's say the bill is ten dollars it's a cheap lunch bill is ten dollars so what am I going to do if I want to do a twenty percent tip first I need to calculate ten percent so if I'm going to calculate ten percent it's going to be one dollar shifting the decimal doubling that it's going to be two dollars and that's the answer that's twenty percent tip what if I'm calculating a tip on fifteen dollars and I'm doing a twenty percent tip well, I take the 10% tip, which is moving the decimal this way, 1.5, $1.50, and I double that. Doubling $1.50 is going to give me $3. That's a $3 tip. That's 20%. Now, what if I have a bill that's $22, and I want to do 20% tip? Well, first I calculate 10%, so I move the decimal. 10% is $2.20, 2.2, $2.20. If I double that, it's going to be $4.40. $4.40. And finally, what if I had a bill of $53 and I wanted to do a 20% tip? 
Well, again, I take the 10% tip, so I move the decimal point this way. That's $5.30, $5.30, and I double it. If I double $5.30, it's going to be $10.60. Doubling 5 gives us 10. Doubling 30 cents gives us 60 cents, so $10.60 for that 20% tip. All right, now finally what we want to do is calculate a real-world situation where we really want to give them a middle-of-the-road average tip of 15%. And so let me just recap for a minute. For 10% tip, we know how to calculate that. We move the decimal. If we are calculating a 20% tip, basically 20% tip is equal to taking 10% tip and then adding another 10%. So basically we doubled it. That's what we did before. We took 10%, we doubled it. That's to get us 20%. So a 15% tip is going to be taking that base 10% and we're going to add to it 5%. So instead of doubling our 10%, what we're going to do is take the 10%, cut it in half, that's going to give us 5%, and we're going to add those two things together. So what I'm teaching you here in the interim is also a good way to calculate 5% of something is to take 10%, cut it in half. So let's do that. Let's say we have a bill of $20. And how do I do that to calculate 15%? Well, first we calculate 10%. And 10% of this is $2, and I just taught you how to do that. You move the decimal place here. What would 5% be? If I take 10%, that's $2, 5% is $1, because I just take it and I cut it in half. So this is a great way for you to know how to calculate 5% of something. You just take 10%, you cut it in half. So in order to find what I really want to know is 15%, then all I do is take 2 plus 1, the $2 plus the $1. So the final tip is going to be $3 for a 15% tip on $20. What if we have uh, $30? This is what we opened up the lesson in, $30, and we want to calculate 15%. Well, first we've got to calculate 10%. Move it here. 10% is $3. We're doing all this in our head here. And 5%, again, doing it in our head here. Take this, cut it in half. You get $1.50, just dividing that by 2. So that's 10%, that's 5%, and so the 15% tip is just going to be adding these together. 3 plus $1.50, we'll write it down here, $4.50. And so you can do it in your head. You do this, you say $3, cut it in half, $1.50, add it together, $4.50. All right, now what if you had a bill of $46? and you wanted to calculate a 15% tip. So first, we take a 10% tip. What's that going to equal quickly in your head? $4.60. Just move the decimal. That gives us $4.60. Now quickly in your head, what is 5% of this guy right here? Well, we take 10%. We cut it in half. What are we going to get? Cut this in half. We'll have $2.00. And 30 cents. Cut this in half to get this, cut this in half to get this. We'll have $2.30. So ultimately, 15% tip is going to be $4.60, $2.30. Add them together, we will get $6.90. Just adding them together. So you can do this in your head $4.60, cut it in half, $2.30. Add it together, $6.90. And even if you can't quite do it all in your head yet because your skills aren't there yet, you can kind of round these numbers up or down and get pretty darn close in your head. So let's look at that right now. Let's look at $160 tip, very large tip, very large bill. To calculate 15%, let's take 10% first, and that's going to equal moving the decimal point one spot quickly. That's $16. We're doing that in our head. And what about 5%? What if we wanted to calculate 5%? We take the 16, cut it in half, it's going to give us $8. And so at the end of the day, we calculate the 15% tip as 16 plus 8, and 16 plus 8 is $24. $24. So this is an exact number, but what if your bill was, you know, $162.13? Well, you could certainly do it, but you know, you want you can round down to 160 or round up a little bit and do this in your head and get the right answer. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.